So if you've been following Spawn Wave last week, you know the controversial thing that happened, and that is, for whatever reason, the YouTube bot decided to strike his channel due to a website considering being spam, and which is not because it's from Xbox.com, which is kind of weird. Thank goodness that it was rectified. He knew it also. There was some error. To some extent, he kind of believed because of YouTube's new system trying to prevent spam. So, of course, they're trying to analyze link to see if it's spam or not, and probably it's still not 100%. That's the reason why. So, anyway, my problem with this, is, to some extent, is now, because of this, some YouTubers probably going to have now more reason to say, well, here's the reason why I don't put links, quote, unquote, source on my description, because something like this will happen. And yes, I always believe, I said this before, that you should always put source on your description box. Where did you find your answers? Where did you find your opinion about it? But, you know, some YouTubers, and I know some of them, big ones, they think they're better than anyone else because they don't put links. And I know some people say, oh, I got to verify the link. I got to make sure that it's not spam. And unfortunately, with this incident with Spawnwave, guess what? Now, a lot of people that... They don't want to put links or source on their description box or now have more reason to say, yeah, this is a reason why I don't do it. So it is kind of sucks in multi ways, but you know, it is what it is. But I always say that in any video you're giving your thoughts on, it is a good idea to source where you came from. Or most people are probably going to think that whatever you come out in your mouth, whatever you found the answer, did it come up with your ass or something? Who knows?